Hey everyone, welcome to that Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today, brought us a little rifle out here. We'll give it a try. A little Savage Axis in 30 out 6. It is a good looking little rifle. I'm assuming that that is factory camouflage on that stock right there. It's a pretty nice looking scope on it. Do not see. Okay, it is a bush nail. Pretty nice. Not too bad at all. Y'all know I don't do a whole lot of the modern rifles, but I just got this in the store the other day, and I figured I need to get it out here and test shoot it anyway. So y'all check it out and tell me what you think about her. We're gonna be shooting some. Winchester 30 out 6 Springfield 150 grain stream point. Let's see what these look like. Yeah, that does look pretty wicked, don't it? Hope this thing don't rip my shoulder off. Let's go ahead and get our ears on. And the first thing we'll do, we'll stretch on out there. And now, first thing I want to do is shoot this uh, pink can up close. Let's see what kind of hole this thing puts in it. I right, got her ears on. Got to keep her safe, that's for sure. We'll load this up some. Really not sure how many of this mag holds. Two of them. And three of them. It holds three of them. I'll say one thing, the mag comes out, goes back in really easy, and it's very easy to load, that's for sure. See how she changes. Oh man, smooth as butter. The safety. Y'all can see that or not, right here. That's safe. That's on fire. All right. Well, let's shoot that canister. And just see what kind of hole this thing will play in. It packs a good punch. I'll give it that. And like I say, that scope very hard for me to see through. Let's try it again. Going out there to Big Yellow. See if we can do a little bit better. Oh yeah. If you miss with this thing, well, you probably just didn't have it loaded. <laughs> Trying for a yellow tank and I did miss it. That's three of them. Well, I'd say, guys, the rifle shoots very, very well. Uh, trigger's great. Not kicking as bad as I thought it would. Uh, not that bad at all. You can shoot this all day and your shoulder's gonna live. Is that scope? Now I'm not a big scope person as y'all know. Takes me a little bit to get used to it. I'd say that mag's sure easy to deal with and that bolt's smooth. Trigger's good. What more can you ask for? The gun's actually really comfortable. I got her on safe. Let's go ahead and reach up there and get that green one with the axe on it. I say to punch right through it. And yes, I'm going to shoot a shaving clean, Mr. Crows. 
Hopefully I can hit that thing. I think we hit it. All right, we got one more. See if I can hit that white plate. It should spin it around there pretty good. And it missed. My bad on that. Well, guys, I gotta say, I was surprised at the recoil for one because I was told by several people, oh man, that thing's gonna rip your shoulder off. No, I mean, it does have a little recoil. It's no sissy gun, that's for sure. But it ain't so bad that you want to put it back down and not shoot it. Well, as you can see, I run six through it. And the only reason I run six through it is that's because that's all I had was six. Had it been for that, I'd run a few more rounds through it. And the gun is a fun shooter. Uh, the scope will sure take me a while to get used to. But as far as the bolt, the trigger, the magazine, that safety, everything works just smooth as silk. And like I say, even though I'm not a big rifle shooter, I do prefer to shoot more pistols. I actually enjoyed shooting that rifle. There's really nothing not to like about it. Well, y'all, hope you enjoyed that video. Savage Axis seems to be a cool little old rifle. It shoots well and I didn't have no issues with it. That's all you want. If you would, please leave me some comments, any suggestions, any questions you have. I'm happy to get to them. And if you can, hit us up on our Patreon page and show some support there. And if you would, please, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all very much, and have a fantastic day.